Hi guys, ow, I just scratched my chin with my fingernail. One of the downsides of having long nails. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be testing some more Revolution Pro makeup because I did a Revolution Pro testing video, like I think it was last week, maybe two weeks ago. I'm not really sure, it was recently, and you guys seem to really like it, but in that video, I didn't have like all of the Revolution Pro stuff. I didn't have the full coverage foundation or concealer or the primers uh, or the highlighter palettes. Um, what else? Eyebrow stuff. So I've got all of that stuff now and I thought I would do like round two because obviously I couldn't have tested two foundations in one video so I thought I would just make a whole other video on the like new stuff that I've got. Um, if you didn't know already you probably do know. If you haven't seen that video I'd recommend going and watching that first because that's got like the majority of the Revolution Pro stuff including like eyeshadow palettes and all that stuff. Um, but basically Makeup Revolution is now just a revolution and I still feel like I keep saying it wrong all the time. So if I say Makeup Revolution, please forgive me. Revolution Pro has taken over from Freedom, which used to be owned by Makeup Revolution um, when they were Makeup Revolution, if you get what I mean. They used to have Freedom as like their pro brand, which was supposed to be for like makeup artists, but well, just anyone really. And Revolution Pro has now overtaken that, so loads of people have been freaking out like, what am I going to do without my, re my Freedom brow pomade? But the Revolution Pro brow pomade is the same as the Freedom one, but they've just kind of like rebranded some of the stuff. Um, and then added loads of extra stuff and it's now called Revolution Pro. If you like this testing bit testing. If you like these testing videos, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Um, that would really, really help me out. I'd really appreciate it. And let's just get on to the video. You know when you get something in your eye and then you literally can't see what it is, but you can feel it. If my nose has just gone a bit red, it's because I literally just blew my nose because I think I'm starting to get a cold. By the way, I'll link all these things down below um, so you guys can like check out the prices and stuff because I don't remember them all off the top of my head. Um, so the first things that I've got are the Revolution Pro Primers. They've got, f I think they've got four different ones, but I've just got two of them. I've got the Featherweight Primer and the Pore Primer. I just want to see what the difference is between these. Um, the Featherweight one is this one in the yellow packaging. It's like a white consistency. Oh, it's kind of like a white mousse. That's what it feels like. Oh, okay, this one feels quite silicone-y. The pore primer is a nude, pale pink sort of color. Oh, okay, this one feels a bit more creamy. Kind of feels, they both have the same sort of texture as like the Benefit Professional. To be honest, they both feel very similar, but I think I'm going to go with the pore primer. I'm assuming by it being called the pore primer, I'm assuming it's supposed to like help reduce pores instead of give you pores, you know? <laughs> this literally feels like the exact same sort of thing as like Benefit Professional um, and those type of like pore filling primers. I think it's mattified my face a bit. So in my previous video, I tested out the drop foundation and just a little update i actually really like this i wore this all day yesterday um, and i did kind of powder midway through the day but by the end of the day my skin was still looking really nice so i really like that foundation i have the shade f1 and then in the full cover foundation this is the one i haven't tried yet i have the shades f1 and f2 i'm just going to do little swatches on the side of my face because i don't know which shade is going to suit me better i have a feeling it's going to be f1 which is that one there. You get 25 mil in here, which I guess is like, well, the standard is kind of like 30 mil, but then these foundations are so cheap. And I'm guessing the fact that they're supposed to be full coverage, you probably need a bit less of them. Okay, so that one is F2. I think F2 is ever so slightly darker and a little bit more peachy. So I think I am gonna go with F1. I actually have no idea how much to use. I don't really know why, but I was kind of expecting it to be moussey, almost like the L'Oreal full coverage foundation. I can't remember what it's called, but you guys know the one that I mean, hopefully. But it's quite like a thick consistency. Okay, let's start with this amount. And then I can always add some more. Wow, okay. I think I definitely put on less than I normally would here, like with a normal foundation, just because I want to see how much it covers. Ooh, this looks really nice. You know what? I'm kind of confused because um, I think it's because I used the matte primer underneath. When I saw Tammy's video, she was saying that this foundation is quite dewy. But on me, that looks relatively matte, but I think it's because my skin is quite matte underneath. 
I definitely need a bit more on my forehead. This amount that I put on right now, which is a little bit less than I would like normally use of foundation, this is the kind of coverage that I'd want on like a daily basis. It's kind of like medium, um, but I think I'm gonna add some more because I put like the tiniest little bit on my nose and on my forehead. But so far, it's looking really nice. Like it actually looks like skin. Oh, and I forgot to say again at the start of this video, like this video is not sponsored. Revolution don't know that I'm making this. I do make videos on their YouTube channel, but like that doesn't, there's nothing in my contract to be like, oh, you have to say that every product is good. Like obviously different products are gonna work for different people. Um, so these opinions and thoughts and all of that jazz are all my honest opinions, of course. So I'm just adding another layer. By the way, this sponge is the one by LA Girl. Um, I think you can get these on Beauty Bay. I spoke a lot more about this in my favorites video if you guys missed that. Okay, so it's definitely buildable. Um, I would say that right now it's probably like medium to full coverage, like it's not full, full, full coverage, but I think that's like, you know, you could definitely build it to be full coverage if you want to, but I just don't really need as much coverage today because my skin is pretty good. Um, but this is looking so nice. Wait, let me give you a close up. Just turning down the brightness so you can see properly. I really like the way this looks on my skin. It's almost got a satin sort of finish. Um, and I think because I used the pore primer which was quite mattifying it's made it a bit more matte on my face um because yeah like i said in other people's videos it looks quite a bit more dewy but i really really love the finish of this so moving on to concealer i now have the pro full cover camouflage concealer and again i've got the shade c1 and c2 yeah c1 is definitely a little bit lighter hopefully you can see that there just by squeezing this concealer out it really really reminds me of the it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, which I'm not gonna lie, I didn't particularly like that much. Um, because it's quite a thick concealer, it was quite hard to blend out. So I'm just gonna see how I go with this like tiny amount under my eyes because if it's similar, then you literally need the smallest amount. Yeah, look at that. I put the tiniest bit under my eye, just like four little dots. Okay, this one actually blends out a lot easier than the It Cosmetics one. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot more sticky than this, but it's actually blending out completely fine. That is also really nice. So it's definitely got good coverage and it does blend out nicely, but just one thing that um, I would consider when buying this concealer is it's quite like a sticky, um, dewy concealer, so I'm definitely going to need to set this with some powder. Um, I think if you have dry skin, you would really like this though. So I'm just using my Maybelline Fit Me powder to set this into place. So now that I've powdered, my face is looking super flawless. So I'm just going to quickly contour and powder. No, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to quickly contour and bronze. This is the Bleach London Contour in Bones 4. And then the L'Oreal Back to Bronze powder in 2 Sunkiss. And then for my blush, I'm using... Do you mind? In the Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold <laughs> Rolls? Rose Gold palette and I'm using this colour here. Then for highlighter, I've got three of the new Supreme highlighter palettes and I have gold, which is this one here. Um, these look absolutely stunning. They literally look like liquid metal. Look at that. Oh my god. I've then got the one which is literally just called metal. This one is a bit darker, so I think this would probably, I'm pretty sure all of these shades would be a bit too dark for me, but they're absolutely stunning. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh. The one that I think I'm gonna use is called Ice. And this one has got a blue, a pink, and then this middle shade. To be honest, I don't really wear blue highlighters. If you saw like my previous video, you probably would have seen that, but the pink one is like a pinkish gold, like peach color. And then the one in the middle, it's just this, like, oh my god, these are so pretty. The one I'm gonna use on my face is this one down here. I'm just gonna put it on my face. Oh my god. These actually remind me a bit of the Ofra highlighters, like the kind of texture of them, because they're super soft. Okay, I definitely think I prefer this one to the other highlighter palette that I tested in the previous video, but I just wanna see if this one sticks to my nose. Okay. So that's, that's definitely sticking to my nose. 
Okay, this highlighter palette is stunning. I love it. Um, although, I don't think I'd use the blue one. I think I would just mostly use this shade in the middle. But even for the, that, like, I think it's maybe like £8. But this is just... I'm sold. For my eyebrows, in the last video, I didn't have any um, of the eyebrow stuff. They've got these microblading Effect Precision Eyebrow Pencils. I got mine in the shade Taupe. Because um, that's the shade that I normally go for in the pomade. Although when I actually opened this, I thought maybe I should have gone for like a slightly darker colour because it does look quite light. Um, the packaging just looks like this and it's just got a really skinny brow pencil on one side, which I love. I love these type of pencils. And then it's got a spoolie on the other side. And then I've also got the eyebrow cushion in the shade taupe. I have got a eyebrow cushion by Iconic London, but I've never actually tried it. Um, so I'm a little bit scared. I'm not going to lie. It looks like this and then you just... Bloody hell. Apparently you have to be the Hulk to open this thing. So it looks like this on the inside. It's got a little seal to keep it airtight, I guess. And it's literally a little... Sp oh, shh. Okay, maybe don't do that because the sponge just actually fell out. This is the colour here. I'm not going to lie, it does look a little bit warm toned considering it's the shade taupe, but I'm going to use it anyway and see how we go. I don't know how to use an eyebrow cushion because I don't actually really know what it is. It's kind of like a liquid eyebrow product, so... Okay, so the colour is a little bit warm. It's definitely warmer than the other kind of taupe shades that they have, like compared to the brow pomade and stuff. But you know what? I actually really like the formula because it's not as thick as a brow pomade, so you can kind of move it round a bit more. This is what it looks like on my brows. As you can see, you can still see the brow hairs, so it looks a little bit more natural than a brow pomade, but it's still kind of used in the same way. Wait, I've missed a bit here. I'm then just going to use the pencil to go in and just define my brows a little bit more and make them a little bit more neat. This one is pretty much just your kind of classic skinny eyebrow pencil and I'm really happy that Makeup Revolution now have one of these. However, again, just one thing to note, this one in the shade taupe is definitely a lot warmer than their other shades of taupe. Um, so again, I think I might try this one in another colour, maybe the um, medium brown or ash brown or something along those lines. Um, I'm now going to go film another video for Makeup Revolution's channel using the Fortune Favours the Brave video. Video? Fortune favours the Brave palette, um, and I thought I would just, you know, do my base and then go and film that video, and then come back for the new lip products. So, I'm gonna do my eyes, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I am back. I've just done my eyes. By the way, I completely forgot, in my previous video, I didn't even read the name of the lipstick that I put on first, and then I had so many comments asking what it was called. So the lipstick that I used in the previous video, the first shade that I would use that was quite, like, the dark, orangey nude was called Illusion and it's this one here. Um, so I tested out these in the previous video which are the matte lip pigments. I actually really like these but I didn't test the lipsticks so I think today I've opened two of the nudes and they look really really pretty. This one is called Heroin. It's quite a light pinky sort of nude. But the one that I think I'm going to use today is called Tyrant. I feel like this one is going to be super popular with a lot of people. This is just a brown toned nude. So I'm just going to put this on and see what the formula is like. Because I haven't tested these before. So I'm not sure if they're all the same. But this one is definitely very matte. Um, I do actually really like this colour. It's really pretty. I feel so weird with like cool toned eyeshadow. I'm just not used to this. In my eye look today, I did like a cut crease, but then because I used so many colours, it kind of got rid of the cut crease. But in that video that I just filmed on Revolution's channel, I used the Eye Elements Core Eye Primer to do my cut crease. And oh my goodness, this worked so well. It's kind of like... I don't know whether it's because I was putting it over the top of eyeshadows, but when you first put it on, it's really creamy. But then it kind of like dried down to be matte. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay, when it first comes out, it's kind of creamy. And then it like dries down. So like your eyeshadows like properly stick to it. The foundation and concealer I actually really liked. They had really nice coverage. I'm not sure how they last throughout the day, but I'll try and remember to update you guys tonight on Instagram stories. So my camera just ran out of battery, but what I was basically saying is I will try and remember to update you guys on my Instagram stories this evening. So again, 
more great stuff from Revolution Pro. Um, again, this video is not sponsored. This stuff is honestly really good. Like, I'm so happy they've come out with foundations and concealers finally because for the longest time they didn't have like a proper, well, they did have a foundation, but it just it wasn't the best. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. My thumb is in my sleeve. And I hope you guys are all doing really well. If you've just gone back to school, I'm really sorry and I hope you're doing okay. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.